All right then gang, so the next component we're gonna look at is the tooltip component. And this is a little information bubble that pops up with more information when you hover over something. You see them quite a lot in forms to explain form fields. So you can see them in action if you hover over these buttons and notice how it appears in different places. So to the top, the side, the bottom, etc. So you can easily configure this with a data attribute. Now they're really easy to set up, but they do require one extra step. A small amount of JavaScript is required to initialize any tooltips you add to your page. So let's take a look at how to do it. All right, so we're gonna place a couple of tooltips on this page, three in total. The first one is gonna be on this book, just so I can show you how they work. And then after that, we'll come down to the form and we're gonna place a couple of icons at the end of these two inputs right here. And when we hover over those icons, we're gonna show a tooltip there as well. So let's start at the top on the image. So it's in the intro section. At the bottom of that, we have an image right here. We're gonna surround that with a tooltip. Now, the way we do this is by making a span, first of all, and I'm gonna take the image and put it inside that span tag. Now, I'm gonna give this a class, and that class is gonna be TT. Now, this is not a bootstrap class. This is just a class I've made up, TT for tooltip, so that when we start to use JavaScript to implement the tooltips, to trigger them, if you like, it's gonna look for anything with a class of TT. You can call it something different if you wish. Anyway, but by the way, don't call it tooltip because Bootstrap is gonna use that under the hood when it starts to work its magic in the JavaScript. So anything else. All right then, so after that, I'm also gonna give this a data attribute and that data attribute is to say where we want this tooltip to show. Do we want it at the top when you hover over to the side or at the bottom, etc. So let's say data hyphen bootstrap hyphen placement like so, and set that equal to bottom in this case. And then finally, we just need a title attribute, and in here is the text that we're gonna show when a user hovers over this image, so the information in the tooltip. So I'm just gonna paste in a sentence right here. Oops, not that one, we don't want that, that's for the form. Okay, so we'll just say net ninja book cover. All right, so let me try this out. At the minute, if I save it and hover over the book, nothing is gonna work. And that is because remember, I said that in order for this to work, we have to add a little bit of JavaScript. So there are just a handful of different components in Bootstrap that when you use them, you have to trigger them or start them with a bit of JavaScript. It's not hard to do, just scroll down to the end of the page, inside the body, at the end of the script right here, after that one, we're gonna paste in another script, dead simple. All I do is create a constant called tooltips and I set it equal to document.querySelectAll and I grab anything on the page with a class of TT. Remember, that was the class I gave the span tag. So we have then a collection of elements because there might be three or four tooltips on the page, right? They're all now gonna be stored inside tooltips. Then we cycle through that collection using a for each and for each tooltip, which I refer to as T, we fire a function. And all we do is create a new bootstrap tooltip and we pass in the element and that creates it for us and that takes care of everything so that's all we have to do and now we can add as many tooltips on the page as we like because this is going to find all of them as long as they have that class of tt they're going to work so if i save this now and come to the top and hover over now we can see that tooltip and you can see that the arrow is at the top and the message is at the bottom that's because we said the placement was at the bottom all right, cool. So now let's add some tooltips in the form. So I've created two comments where we're gonna add these. This is the first input and it's gonna be inside the input group. So all we're gonna do is create another input group text like this. So let me copy that and paste it down here. And this icon is gonna be something different. We want it to be some kind of question mark. So I'm gonna use question hyphen circle like so so that's a question mark in a circle and also i'm going to give this a class of text muted okay so that's the icon and if we take a look at this we're going to see that if i scroll down here we can see that now i want to implement the tooltip so that when we hover over this we see that tooltip so we need to surround this icon with the tooltip so i'm going to say span right here and again i need to give this a class of TT so that our JavaScript picks it up. I'll take the closing span and place it after the icon, like so. 
and then inside here we need to say where the placement is so data hyphen bootstrap hyphen placement and again that's going to be equal to the bottom you can use a different value if you want and then the title which I'm going to set equal to the thing I pasted before oops it's gone now from a clipboard let me just grab it again paste it in so enter an email address we can reply to okay so before we test this out I'm just going to copy all of this right here and I'm going to place it down here where we have this tooltip as well so again it's inside the input group for the second input and we're going to use the same icon this time we'll just say in here pretty self explanatory can I spell this explanatory really dot 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 all right so if we now hover over this one then we can see enter an email we can reply to and for the name pretty self-explanatory really awesome so there we go my friends that's how we create tooltips dead simple just create the span with any class except for tooltip and then create the placement the title which is the text inside the tooltip and then surround whatever element you want the tooltip to be for and then finally in the script just create a script like this to trigger them